Hi everyone, thanks again for watching the previous episode of the c -Sharp Web API. For you to be able to understand this video, you might want to check part one of the introduction to web APIs in c -Sharp. You click on the video. Alternatively, you can just go to under playlist and then you will see that the c -Sharp Web API with Swagger and Clean Architecture in .NET. When you click that, it will show even the previous, the current videos as well. On this one, we'll be creating a new project and setting up different layers of this project. To get started, we go ahead and click on create a new project. On the project templates here, you can see that I've been using the sp.net core web API. So if you do not see it here, you basically just go here and then click on asp.net core web API. Ensure that it's in c -Sharp and as well as it supports all these uh, platforms. And you right, go ahead and then click next. Once you see this page, you will see that it's requiring a project name. So my naming for conversion that I've tried to follow is I start with either the company name or the organization name, followed by a dot and the name of the app, followed by a dot and as well as the layer name. Rather, this can be API, it can be uh, infrastructure, it can be the application layer. But for now, we're just going to start with the API. Once you are done giving the project name, you can go ahead and click the next button. It will ask you to choose the framework to use. I will keep it on .NET 7 as the latest, and then I will click create. You can see now it's trying to create a project, so let's wait. There you go. It has created a project, ISP.NET Core. This layer has a basic structure. By default, it's created with this controller, program, and then this object that just has whatever data that your controller is going to need. Just to make sure that everything works, I just go ahead and start the app. You have a couple of options, but uh, in most cases, I just use the HTTP and IIS. By default, it's in HTTP. Once you click the button to start it here, you can then get a screen similar to something like this. You can go ahead, execute, test if your API works. You can see it returns the data. Another layer that I would like to add on this project is the application layer to edit. You just click there and add in the new project. You come here and then search for library. Then when you click here, you can then give it a project name, give it follow the same pattern, kata.todo dot application just then click next and then use obviously dot net 7 voila it will also even install whatever dependencies it requires for it the last one i would like to add is the infrastructure layer you go do the very same thing again it's already uh, added here so i'm just gonna click class library and then i'll put in the name follow the similar structure then click next as well choose dot net 7 and then voila just a quick recap on this one what we did here was set up an API project and an application project and infrastructure project. In the next one, we'll be setting up the different endpoints that will include your get, your post, your put and delete for this to-do list. Be sure to post any questions or any errors that you came across during this setup. Thank you. See you on the next video.